Hello and welcome to another Grumpy's Rehab Facility video. This is just a video where I rant and for some reason people still watch me rant and more and more people watch me rant and uh, that makes me like nice around here. And yeah, anyway, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the issue with LTI and other uh, types of insurance. So let me roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. So, uh, as always, uh, at the start of these videos, I talk about this, and this number is just fucking amazing. There's like 800 people that subscribed in the past month, and uh, guys, like, slow down a bit, please, because I promised that I'm gonna release, like, an album and do a giveaway uh, for 5,000 subscribers, so just, like, chill. No, 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 I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, I, the album might be postponed, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And uh, thank you. Like, I, I love you guys. Like, I, I, I have nothing else to say. Uh, I just love you. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope it's mutual. I, I hope you didn't subscribe just to dislike my videos. But I mean, some people did. So anyway, uh, let's talk about Star Citizen and the future of Star Citizen, as we always do in these videos. Um, my main issue for today, <laughs> of course, uh, I was like, first off, I was trying to like think of a topic for today and like uh, people have helped me, but most of the topics that they suggested, I already talked about like in my previous rehab facility videos and it's getting really boring and annoying because I don't know what to talk about anymore. But I, I figured that I never talked about the insurance. Therefore, we're going to talk about it today. So. Um, there are a few types of insurance uh, for Star Citizen, uh, one of which is going to be life insurance. Hopefully, it's like you're going to pay for it just with the in-game money. And then you have the ship insurance, uh, and that, that's going to be the main topic of this video, of course. So let's talk about the life insurance first. Uh, that ties in with death of a spaceman, and I talked about this uh, a bunch of times before, and I'm, I'm really, really against it, and I hope that CAG is going to reconsider it, because, like, uh, tell me which other game is a good game, and it's, like, fun to play, and is, like, one of the best-selling games, and also has, like, insta-death. Uh, of course, it's not going to be instant death but it's gonna be like once you die five or ten times uh you will need to make a new character you will lose some ships you will lose some components you will lose uh, a bunch of stuff from your inventory etc 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 but in the end you lose stuff and like you need to how how else are you gonna learn how to play the game how else are you gonna learn how to pvp if you don't die a lot and yeah, that's my main issue with uh, that of a spaceman. And if you don't have insurance, as far as I know, you will not be able to respawn uh, the first time. So you will just need to like uh, uh, do a character reset each time you die. That's at least how I understand it. Like there's a bunch of info, but still it's all mystical. And uh, I'm pretty sure the CAG doesn't even know what they want to do with that. But it doesn't matter. The main topic of this video is, of course, the insurance for your ships that you pay for with your own money. So when you buy a starter pack and if you invest your uh, first money into Star Citizen, you're going to get a ship with three months insurance. And um, why? Why, CAG? Like, see, there's a lot of different insurances. Uh, you can buy some ships without insurance. You can buy some ships with uh, LTI or lifetime insurance. And in the end, you can buy some ships with three months, six months, 12 months, 10 months. But like so some of them, you have some of them with like 120 months, which is basically 10 years. But uh, why? Aren't we supporting the development of this game? Aren't we the first backers? Aren't we the people that are investing in the future of Star Citizen? Aren't we the people, the backers, uh, well, aren't we the backers? Aren't we uh, supposed to have nice things? But you're not giving us nice things. And 
yes, there is a way to get all your ships to have LTI. And how you do it is you buy the LTI tokens or like those small ships or uh, land vehicles like uh, the mule uh, or the, what was it before? It was like the hover quad. And you buy those because they have LTI and then you CCUM or uh, cross whatever upgrade, upgrade them to better ships. And uh, like people are buying those in bulks. Uh, I have a friend that has like 10 or 20 of uh, mules and hover quads. Why? Uh, like 10 hover quads are 400 bucks. And basically what you're doing with uh, buying LTI tokens is that you're trapping your money and you're giving CAG money, the money that you can't get back. The only way that you can get your money back is like melting your ships and your LTI token ships and you, you like you lose the LTI and you don't get the money back like it's not in your wallet you get it back as store credit and that's basically trapping your money see like my issue with this is that we are backing this game we're playing this game we are giving you insight we're giving you feedback we are promoting the game we are doing a lot of things for this game even though it's not released and even though it's a, in a really really shitty state and we as backers as original backers prior to games release we don't get shifts with, uh, with LTI and now you already have somebody that's like uh, rage typing in the comment section and telling me that like after the game gets released uh they're not gonna sell ships okay really do you do you really think so how the fuck do you think that they're gonna fund the game and the servers and how the fuck do you think that the servers are gonna stay alive if they don't sell anything uh they said that there's not gonna be a subscription okay if there's no subscription then you have to make money like some way and then they said at some point that they will be releasing newer ships they will be releasing like dlcs but you won't need to have those and when they said like dlcs those will be like um uh, I don't know, you want to play as an alien and you uh, pay for the DLC and you can choose to be a Banu or uh, Vanduul or whatever. Because uh, currently you can't and at some point you will be able to with a DLC. Also, at some point they said that they will be releasing concept ships still after the game's release and they will sell those. Therefore, there's still gonna be sales and see my issue with that like you can currently buy because it's alien week you can currently but but don't you can buy the uh gatak raylan uh for like 225 bucks and it's not even in production so like it's not it's not gonna be released anytime soon but you can buy it with six months uh, insurance unless you have like a i don't know a mule and you upgrade from the mule to the raylan uh, why is that? Why is that CAG? What's the point in that? And like, why is this important? Because at some point, uh, once the game gets released officially, and uh, even though it's never gonna be finished, it's never like, I, I don't believe in them releasing this game. They're probably gonna release the game with like five, uh, six uh, like systems and that's it. And they're gonna call it uh, Star Citizen. It's out of uh, beta phase, whatever. And they're gonna release it, but they're gonna still develop it. And they're still gonna like sell ships. They're still gonna do uh, more systems, etc., etc. But at one point, those three months insurance on your starter package, uh, they're gonna run out. Uh, your six months for the uh, Gatak Raylan, uh, that's also gonna run out. And like, what then? And then you lose the ship or you need to pay for the ship because I've heard that that you need you will need to pay for the ship with in-game money and it's going to be basically like you're buying the ship uh, each time you lose it unless you have insurance which you can obviously uh, also pay for in the game but why for us for for the backers uh, for the original guys that that were here that were giving you feedback and all of that why are we not in a better position if you want to give back to the backers you would do it by converting everything that we bought to lti by giving us lti ships whenever we buy the first like game package even after the release of the game i'm i stay i will stand by this that the starter package should contain lti 
it should contain a lifetime insurance. Whatever you buy afterwards, whatever, whatever. But the starter package must have an LTI. It's, it's just stupid to have three months. So what, you're gonna play uh, the game for three months? Or maybe uh, once the game gets released, you're not gonna be there. You're not gonna see that it got released or whatever. You, like you, you didn't play it in a couple of months. Then you come back, you lose your ship and that's it. You lose everything. You, you lose basically everything because uh, you can't even fucking play the game if you only have the starter package. And uh, like what, you just have the game access and you can't play the game. I mean, you can't can you can uh, type in global chat to uh, call somebody uh, to pick you up and drive you all, uh, around and like uh, get you another ship or uh, get you started with money I don't know you, you can do that but it's still like your main ship your first ship your starter package should always and always be LTI when we talk about buying other ships after the game's release, yeah, you can do this with like three months, 12 months, uh, six months, uh, 120 months uh, insurance and all of that, that's fine. But currently for, uh, for us, for the backers, we should be able to have LTI for everything. And the only way for you to do that is to buy uh, LTI tokens. And as I've said, LTI tokens just like trap your money. It's basically the same with those like uh, buy cards, or whatever you guys call that. Uh, you, like you buy a card uh, which has like 200 bucks on it and you can only use that card in one of the stores like Costco or whatever. I've never been to Costco, but uh, you know what I mean. But uh, you already gave them that money on that card. You're like the next time you're buying something with that card, you're not buying with your money because your money already was theirs and you're just like spending the funds on the card like you already gave them that money it's the same with uh, lti ships here like you can lose that card you cannot ever use that card but you already lost that money and like people are buying mules and people are buying uh, uh hover quads and uh legionnaires and because they have lti and then uh they're like okay well, i'm gonna upgrade to something else and yeah but like why spend your money now just to get that lifetime insurance like fear of missing out and that's why CAG doesn't have all the uh, ships on sale at all times it, it just has like ships sometimes like during IAE alien week and all of that you can't buy like you can buy some ships at, at all times like the Hornet and, and uh, stuff like that you can't buy all the ships you can't buy all the ships and that's like you have a week two weeks uh, per per year where you can buy a ship that you want and then you're gonna like spend your money on that and that's again pushing you into fear of missing out and then on top of that they're gonna give you an lti token uh that you can buy for 40 bucks and uh, like on top of that they're gonna ask you uh, if you wanna get like subscriber items, you gotta subscribe. If you wanna have access to uh, the PTU, you gotta subscribe, uh, unless you're a uh, concierge. And uh, like, what's the, and of, of course, on top of that, you have like items that, are, uh, that they're selling and all of that, like slippers and uh, the pikus and stuff like that. So like, yeah, they are, they are getting a lot of money from you. And then in the end, in the end, they do squadron 42 they don't focus on star citizen they just doing like squadron 42 you saw the banner merchantman uh isc you saw that there are two guys it was fucking announced in like uh 2013 and uh, there's two guys working on it now now fucking nine years later two guys and like yeah it, it's gonna be out when it's out okay why because everybody's working on squadron 42 which like we have no idea uh, like is there any progress with a game is there any game with that game like are you even fucking doing it i mean i guess they are but still like we don't know we really don't know like are they close to like uh be done with it are they gonna focus on star citizen afterwards no because they're gonna do sequels so like i like I don't know. My main point of this video is that LTI, 
like your starter package should be LTI. And then on top of that, uh, if you wanna buy other ships after the game gets released, yeah, do the three months, six months, whatever. If that's cool for you, okay, whatever. But since the game is not released, give us LTI for everything. Because trapping our money with LTI tokens uh, or those like, gift cards, I remember the gift cards, uh, trapping our money like that is simply greedy. And it's a bad look. And please stop it, CAG. Please stop it. And like, the ship prices are already too fucking high for most of us. And they are just too fucking high. Even for like US standards, I, like uh, Serbia? <laughs> like. <laughs> Hey, 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 what's going on? Nothing. See, like, the minimal wage here is like uh, 200 euros, which would be like 220 uh, bucks, basically. So who the fuck is gonna pay for those uh, if they're living in a third world country like I am? Or if they're living in a first world country but they don't have uh, enough money and then on top of that they trap your money with uh, lti tokens because you gotta have the lti token because you never know what's gonna happen and how they're gonna uh, like what, what they're gonna think of to fuck you once the game gets released so yeah uh that's basically my rant uh, for today thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel i love you guys if you want to be uh exemplary citizens like these guys yeah you can go down in the info section of the video and you can find uh, the patreon link and you can uh, donate some money to me instead of buying lti tokens for example so yeah that is it for today guys thank you for watching and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and mwah, bye love you